Uh, so today, just a quick look at a cool app for Symbian 3 devices. It's called Windows Phone Emu or WP Emu for short, Emu short for emulator. And as you might guess, it emulates the Windows Phone experience on your Symbian 3 device. Now, of course, it's more of a general, you know, it's not actually as functional as Windows Phone, of course, so it's more of a look just to, it mimics it. Okay, it doesn't do everything, but it's pretty cool. So once you just unlock your Symbian 3 device with your normal unlock screen thing, you actually don't get the, like, hang on. There is no Windows Phone slide up to unlock, but maybe in future versions. Anyways, so once you unlock, you get the normal Windows Phone Metro UI layout, and you can scroll up and down. Um, it's pretty smooth. It doesn't. It's, I expected it to be a bit slower. And on the camera, it's showing a bit slower, but um, in reality, it's not that bad, except my main issue with it is that the haptic feedback or the vibration on the phone is hypersensitive like every scroll okay every scroll gives you your v your vibration i don't know if you guys can actually pick it up on the the sound of it but it's there so anyways um as you can see it's basically just a bunch of shortcuts that are replace your home screen so you have your call shortcut up here, which brings you the same dialer as your Windows phone. So let's just look at the dialers side by side. Sorry. So here are the dialers. Um, same basic look, you know, the same fonts or whatever. So that's pretty cool. And of course, it works normally fine. Exit the dialer. You have... Your people thing, which is, uh, see, this is where it gets a bit different than Windows Phone, is that these tiles don't actually take you to what it says. It takes you to shortcut lists of pop popular applications that are usually there on Windows, on Symbian devices. So when I click on people, I'll actually get the option to go to my phone book, WhatsApp, Nimbus, or eBuddy. And then if you actually scroll to the right, which is like your um, normal metro scrolling, sorry, you actually get the option for Facebook and you have popular Facebook apps such as you can see FMOB, Fascinate, Casvopis, or Facebook.com. And the same thing comes up with Gravity. So there are more like shortcut lists into your social networking and people thing uh, stuff. And once you click phone book, of course, you'll get up, you'll end up with your default Symbian 3 phone book. Now, if we go back, the there is the back button isn't consistent. So to go back, you press the Windows key down here. So just tap that, and we're back to our home screen. Messaging will take you directly to the messaging thread. No messaging apps like we just saw in the contacts. Profile, which will take you to profile changing shortcuts. Calendar, direct shortcut to the calendar. And um, as you can see, it updates with the date. As indeed today is Monday the 2nd. Actually, no, today is April the 1st. So I don't know why it says, or I have it set as the second my date is wrong. Okay, sorry. But so the date is interactive. It changes with the, with the actual date. But the people tile is actually showing me fake people. I don't know if that will change when you have contacts, but since my phone has currently no contacts on it, I'm, maybe it's default images or maybe that's just the way it stays. So anyways, you have the marketplace or store, which will take you to the OV store web, which will take you to the default web browser. Tapping on the music will show you up the same music layout that you have for Windows Phone, the same little start screen, except that once again, it's shortcuts to popular music applications or the actual player itself. So from music, you can access videos or radio. So that's pretty cool. Go back to your home screen again, and you can go to your camera, of course. Navigation, which will show you your navigation apps. You have Nokia Maps, Garmin, and Drive, Navitel, Google Maps. Of course, these are all listed, but you can only access them if you have them installed on your device. For example, I don't have Google Maps, so tapping on it will make no effect at all. And location, you have location-based apps. So go back once again. Pictures will take you to the gallery apps once again, 
or you have effects which are uh, camera, uh, sorry, photo editing apps that you might have installed, such as Molomi, SofiCam, Camera Fix. So then, of course, you have radio, you have settings, email, settings it will take you to your normal settings, and you have email. And um, that's about it for the Metro UI layout. Of course, unfortunately, you can't actually change tiles. You can't add tiles. This is what you get with, and you're stuck with it. So I don't know. And you can swipe to the right to get your apps and settings. It doesn't give you. It doesn't take you to the direct app menu. It takes you to a menu that takes you to the app menu. So that's not exactly the most functional thing in the world, but you can still use your menu button to access, to minimize it, return to your home screen, or go back to it, or menu, and then menu again to get your normal menu. Um, which is my main issue with these sort of skinning apps, such as SPB, 3D Shell and stuff, is it's not truly a skin, it's an app running a layer on top. But, um, well, that's about it. The other cool thing I thought that was... Uh, little feature that I thought he would, the guy would forget is when you actually double tap on the top you get the drop down menu of the phone such as is in true Windows Phone so that's a pretty cool feature to include um, it's uh, the apps called WP Emu Windows Phone Emulator it's by um, actually I don't want to say the name because I forgot it we'll check it out right now but right now you have the closed tile it'll and the application, as you can see, it just killed it. And I can start it up again by the shortcut. And it is by Xtron Studios. So it doesn't take too long to start up. It's pretty cool. But as I said, my main issue with them is that they're just apps and not really skins. But um, if you want to pretend you have a Windows phone or April Fool's, because there's a lot of videos going around now with the... Nokia E710 or the ICE Windows Phone or Android on the on a Lumia style device or whatever. So knock yourselves out, guys. It's called WP Emu and I think it's about two euros in the Nokia store. So feel free to check it out if you want. Thanks.